What's up folks, Crush SG back with a quick Q&A as well as a Noel Showcase video. In this video, I'll be answering what I feel are the top 10 questions I get asked on this channel. 5 general questions about myself and 5 Noel questions cause Noel questions pretty much dominate my entire comment section. I'll also be doing sort of an update showcase on my Noel since it's been requested on practically every video after I concluded the series. Before we get into it though, I want to say a couple of things first. So it's been just over a month since I posted my first ever video for Genshin Impact. My channel had 62 subs then, and I had only ever used it prior to this to post clips and gameplay videos to share between friends. At time of recording this video, I now have just over 4600 subs, and it is pretty mind-blowing to me how quickly this channel has grown. This last month has been one hell of an experience and has taken this channel in a direction I never anticipated it would go. So I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you for the support so far. I really appreciate it and I'll definitely try to continue making useful content for this game for as long as I can. Now the next thing sort of ties into the reason why I'm doing a Noel update today. My Noel series was the first series of videos I posted on this channel. It started off with a guide to a C4 DPS Noel and gradually turned into an entire series. Of course, I've made a lot of progress in the game over the last month or so and learned a lot along the way too. There are things I know now that I didn't know back when I posted my first video, such as how the Favonius weapons worked. And there are of course a few realizations I've had along the way as I've tried different teams and different setups with her, such as the addition of Zhongli to her team. Anyway, more on that later. Let's get the questions out of the way. I'll answer the general questions first. Question 1. What is that accent and where are you from? I'm from Singapore and the SG in my channel name is the abbreviation of that. My accent is of course Singaporean and we do speak British English here, hence my tendency to say sauce instead of source. Question 2. Will you ever consider streaming? Unfortunately, this isn't on the cards at the moment. While I do believe the two platforms are inherently related, I think most streamers would readily tell you that there's a big difference between streaming and making videos on YouTube. It's much more natural of a transition to expand from streaming to making YouTube videos, but the opposite is quite different. It takes a certain character to stream and I'm not quite ready for that at the moment. But never say never, we'll see how it goes. Question 3. Will you ever set up a Patreon account? Now while I really, really appreciate the support, crushing that subscribe button, liking my videos and sharing them is all the support I could ask for right now. This is a hobby for me so I don't really feel it's the appropriate time for something like Patreon just yet. Next up, what is your current rig? Your game textures look great and your aspect ratio is a little weird. I'm currently running a first gen Ryzen processor with a 1080 Ti but I'm waiting patiently for the new generation of AMD stuff to hit the shelves where I live so I can finally upgrade my rig. I haven't done anything special with my settings, I just maxed out all the in-game graphic settings and that's basically what I see in-game. As for the weird aspect ratio, that's because I use a 21 by 9 aspect ratio ultra-wide monitor. And finally, the last general question, which is really more of a common comment than a question, and that is, your audio has a low hum to it, and your S's are extremely prominent, perhaps you should consider buying better recording equipment. Well, this isn't so much an issue with my recording equipment, and rather more of an issue with the environment that I'm recording in. You see, I game and record in my hobby room, which shares the space with five aquariums. The pumps are responsible for the hum in my audio. I've since gotten my hands on some pretty nice noise removal plugins thanks to a viewer's suggestion, but the consequence of removing all that background noise is that it makes the sibilance go through the roof. I'm currently working on fixing it, but changing recording locations isn't really an option at the moment because I have two young boys rampaging around the home every day. Alright, that's it for the general questions. Let's look at some Noel questions. And the first question is, what weapon is your Noel currently using and why does it keep changing in practically every video? Well, depending on what I'm doing at any given point, it could be either the Skyward Pride or the Serpent Spine, though recently I've been doing some tests with the Favonius Greatsword with some interesting results. More on that in a bit. Between the Skyward Pride and Serpent Spine though, I don't consider one to be better than the other personally, regardless of what even my own math says. 
Math can only account for that much, and the rest really comes down to how the weapon plays in actual encounters. That being said, I did get baited into pulling for the Unforged, and of course, I was blessed, or should I say I was cursed, with the Vortex Vanquisher instead. Pulling any more would have just eaten into my resin refresh gem pool, so I'm done with this current banner. Alright, question 2, and I get this one surprisingly often across all my videos. What are those little swords floating around your characters? Well, that's the damage buff from the Serpent Spine Battle Pass Claymore. Each small sword indicates one stack of the buff for a total of 5 at full stacks. Question 3. Your Noel team keeps changing in every video. So what is ultimately the best team for Noel as a carry? Now one thing I need folks to understand about me is I do not believe in a single best team for any given character. I play what works best for my situation at any given point. If I had to absolutely make a choice though, I'd say the one unit besides Noel that I must have on her team is a C2 Chong Yun with 4 piece noblesse. He does decent damage and is responsible for probably 30% of Noel's energy regen. Beyond that, I'd pick either Fischl or Xiangling as support DPSs, followed by any character that I feel works for my content needs. Of course, this last slot is currently filled by Zhong Li because I'm testing him out, but any number of characters can fill this slot really. And the next question is super common and I get asked this at least a couple of times on each video. Crush, you claim to prefer 4-piece gladiators, but you are using 4-piece bolides almost exclusively. Why? Now I've actually explicitly explained this in a couple of videos already, but it still keeps popping up, so let's set the record straight once and for all. I personally prefer 4-piece glad on my Noel. This has been the case since my Noel was C0 and it is still the case today. I am only using Bolides now because Bolides is much, much, much easier to farm for than Gladiators. Bolide is a domain drop and after AR45, you are guaranteed at least one 5 star drop per domain. Gladiators on the other hand drops from bosses and it costs twice the resin without a guaranteed 5 star drop chance even post AR50. The bottom line is, if I had 4-piece gladiators that came anywhere close to the stats on my bolide, you'd bet I'd be using it. But RNG is what it is. And finally, we have question 5. Why defense on the goblet instead of geo damage? And believe it or not, I've gotten this question on videos where I explicitly explained it. So here we go again. The main reason I use percent defense over geo damage is because even though a geo damage goblet gives me about 15% more damage, I very much like the added shield and heal strength provided by percent defense. And at C6, defense still scales very well with Noel's damage. So why not? It's an all in one goblet. Another reason is because for the longest time, I just couldn't get a decent geo goblet to drop. Now I actually have a pretty decent one, so I do swap to it from time to time depending on what I'm doing. That being said, I picked up a pretty god roll defense goblet whilst farming for Sin Yen's gear last week and I'm slowly working to get it to plus 20. Alright, that's it for the Q&A folks. Let's take a look at my Noel and discuss the current team I'm running with her. So this is my Noel and these are her artifacts. As you can see, these substat rolls are the reason why I'm having problems replacing Bolide with Gladiators. I can't even get a full 4-piece Gladiator set going on my Razor, so it's probably going to be a long time before I get a proper set on Noel. Anyway, here's the new goblet I found. Some pretty crazy rolls, though I wish it didn't hit flat defense that one time, and I'm praying it doesn't hit flat defense on that last upgrade. Please RNG Jesus, let it hit one of the crit stats or energy recharge. I'll take any of the other three, I don't need 20 more flat defense. Anyway moving on, of course she is C6 and these are her talent levels. Now I've gotten a couple of questions about talent priorities along the way, so my recommendation for a Noel carry would be to go with normal attack first, followed by her burst and then finally her E skill. As mentioned earlier, I currently have my rank 3 Favonius Greatsword on her for this test setup and yes, I ran out of enhancement stones so it's stuck at level 88 for now. Now a rank 3 Greatsword doesn't quite give me 100% uptime on her burst on floor 12, but Zhong Li makes up for the rest of it. It does give me 100% uptime outside of floor 12 though, 
And this is something aspiring Noel mains should understand about the Favonius greatsword. I know there are a few clips out there showing folks achieving a 100% uptime on Noel's burst just using a rank 1 greatsword without any team regen. However, most of these clips show open world or domain fights or maybe lower levels of the abyss. The thing is enemies die a lot faster in the open world, in domains and lower abyss, and mobs grant energy particles at certain HP thresholds as well as when they die. So this makes it seem like a 100% uptime is easily attainable with just an R1 Favonius alone without any help from the team. However, things slow down a fair bit in the upper abyss, so you may find your uptime suddenly drop drastically and you'll definitely need assistance from your team for energy regen. As far as I can tell from all my tests with my Noel, a rank 4 Favonius is probably the minimum required to achieve 100% self-sufficiency for Noel. But that's just for me, your mileage may differ of course. Now speaking of testing, the team I have her with is a completely new setup with Zhongli, Xiangling and Chongyun. Now while Xiangling and Chongyun are not strangers to my Noel team, the reason I'm labelling it as a test setup is because I've shuffled a few things around. First, I took the Favonius Greatsword off Chongyun and put it on Noel instead, and I've given Chongyun the Black Cliff Claymore. He is still in 4-piece Noblesse, but the extra crit damage should give him some extra kick on 12-3. Next I have Xiangling in 2-piece Noblesse and 2-piece Witches with a Pyro Goblet and Energy Recharge on the timepiece for Burst Uptime. She serves as the AoE Burst DPS and for Shield Breaking. And of course we have Zhong Li, who is built for Semi HP, Semi Burst Damage. As you can see, 33k HP is neither full HP nor full DPS. His artifacts are of course 2-piece Petra and 2-piece Noblesse. HP on the timepiece and decently balanced stats all around. As planned in my pre-launch thoughts video, I have him with the Favonius Lance for energy recharge on his burst. He is currently level 80, Constellation 2 and these are his talent levels. And for those of you wondering if I tested him at C0, don't worry, I did all the tests and recorded sufficient footage of him at C0 and that will be included in the review when I eventually put it out. Alright, so the logic behind this team setup is to have everyone's burst up on cooldown with the exception of Xiang Ling. She'll have pretty good burst uptime, but I'd probably need a Favonius or Sacrificial Lance on her in order to achieve a 100% uptime. With Chong Yun's C2, everyone's burst cooldowns are reduced by 15%. This brings Chong Yun and Chong Li's burst down to a 10.2 second cooldown and Xiang Ling's down to 17 seconds. So in a way, I'm sacrificing some of Noel's personal DPS going with the Favonius Greatsword in exchange for buffing the entire team's burst DPS potential. Now here's a clip of the team set up in action. There are still some kinks I need to work out and I'm also still trying to get used to the rotation. But for the most part, it's working as intended. As you can see, the bursts are up on cooldown, hard CC all over the place from Zhongli's Meteors, Xiangling's Pyronado is doing some great work. And I'm getting some of the fastest 12 1 clear times of all the Noel teams I've run so far. And this should only improve as I get more used to the rotations. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this setup and I'm thoroughly enjoying having Tong Lee on the team. Alright, folks, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope that answered a few of your questions about myself and my Noel setup. I may do more of these QA type videos in the future if it's something you guys like. And maybe I'll do one of those community posts beforehand to gather questions or something. Anyway, as always, thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, crush that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.